We have crossed the 600 subscriber mark and as promised, it is time for the giveaway of Casio F105. The conditions for this giveaway are very simple. You should be residing in India and you have to drop a comment on this video and your comment should also state which city you are currently living in and use the India flag emoji. So it's easy for me to determine if the random comment picker picked a comment that belongs to someone who is residing in India. I will be making this process transparent and I want to maintain fairness. So I will be recording my screen when I use the random comment picker for this video and I will be uploading the video on the channel so you guys can see the fairness was maintained for this giveaway. Hey bro, where did you find this watch from? I can't find this anywhere in India. How come you have it? Well, when I find a watch I like and if I don't find that with any of the sellers in India, then I have used a few options and I am going to talk about three of those options today. I will be reviewing these three websites, the three options which I have used uh, when I had to purchase watches and at the end of the video you guys can choose which is the best option for you if you ever decide to buy watches from abroad. Desertcar.in this is a company based in the UAE and they have their fulfillment centers in the US, UK, UAE and India. Let me quickly show you an example of a watch Type purchase. In the address, look for the watch that you want, let it load, browse through the options, select the one you want, the best price, add to cart and then make the purchase. Let's look at some of the pros of using this website. Desert Cart has an app too. So you can do all of this on your mobile phone. It is convenient. You just you know, download the app, log into your account and just go on the search bar, type in the watch that you want to purchase, browse through the options, add to cart and then go ahead with the purchase. Active customer support. There were occasions when I had placed an order but there was no activity on the tracker for days. I got in touch with the customer support and within a few hours I could see movement on the tracker. For any watch model you will have multiple options depending on where they're coming from and they are priced differently and you can choose the least priced option. Desert Cart offers pro membership and with pro membership you get free shipping but Paying for Pro makes sense if you are going to be ordering on a regular basis because that will add up to savings on shipping. You also get access to their self-ship feature as part of the Pro membership which is nothing but freight forwarding. You can order from any website or marketplace outside of your country and have the watch sent to Desert Card's closest fulfillment center and they will forward your watch to your home address. In the case of self-shipping, they will take care of the customs and clearance and then they will bill it to you and it will reflect on your account and they will charge your credit card for it. Let's look at some of the cons of using Desert Card. I have had a few of my orders cancelled and the reason that they gave me was prohibited item because of lithium ion battery which was shocking considering they have watches listed on their site and I have ordered a few of those without issues. I raised this concern with them and I was unhappy for two months as multiple orders were cancelled for the same reason. There was a lot of to and fro between me and the customer support. Finally, someone from London uh, from the customer uh, support team called me and told me that they are changing their policies and now they are allowing watches to be bought without any issues. Like they promised me that none of the orders will get cancelled in the future except for smart watches which is fine because I don't really care for smart watches. So I haven't tested that since I got the call so I will only know it in the future. They only have chat support which is quite all right but they have limited people for it. This one time I waited 30 minutes which is ridiculous for a pro member. I pay 10,000 rupees a year and I get to wait 30 minutes to talk to a customer service representative because there were 40 others uh, waiting in queue which I think is ridiculous. Most of us have limited budget for a watch hence one of the ways we shop is by sorting the listing from lowest price to highest and only browse through the lower priced options and choose the best in that range. You can't do that on Desert Card. It's random and it's annoying. They need to fix that. 
they use cheap shipping options so don't expect your watch to arrive in two to three days like with fedex or dhl it might take up to 15 days with desert card let's now review website number two but before that please subscribe to the channel if you want to become part of this rapidly growing community chrono 24 they market themselves as a marketplace for luxury watches but you will find watches in all price ranges but unlike desert card you won't find a lot of listings for low-end watches like the Casio F91 for example. I ordered my GMW B5000 from a seller in Japan through Chrono because Desert Card cancelled my order for the same model. Let's look at some of the pros of using this website. When you are buying a particular watch, you get options that offer buyer protection. When you buy, your payment stays in the Chrono 24 escrow for a period of 14 days from the time of delivery. Remember, from the time of delivery and not from the time of purchase. On the 15th day is when the seller gets credited that amount. This is your return period. If you choose to send it back because it has some defects or it doesn't match the listing, then you have to return within this time window of 14 days. The sellers listed on this platform mostly use the fastest delivery options such as the FedEx and DHL so you can get your hands on your watch within 5 days or maybe even a week. My GMW B5000 arrived at my doorstep in India from Japan in just one week. Just like eBay, you can buy used watches from private sellers but some of these don't offer buyer protection. You will need to buy at your own risk. Let's look at some of the cons of using Chrono24. You don't have a lot of options for cheaper watches. For example, if you type in Casio F91, this is all that you will find. When you compare that with Desert Card, this is a small number. Even if you do find cheaper watches, they will cost you more after shipping and customs and they don't have the pro membership option like Desert Card to save money on shipping. Let's now review the third website, Amazon Global Shipping. If you don't find a particular watch in your country, then you can visit Amazon.com, which is Amazon US, and search for the watch you want. Let's look at some of the pros of using this option. Some listings have import duties deposit mentioned, which you will need to pay when you buy the watch. This will be used towards the custom duties and taxes in your country when the watch arrives in your country. Here is the fun part. You pay the deposit to Amazon. Amazon uses that money to pay customs duties and taxes as the watch arrives into the country. Now, if what is owed is less than what you pay to Amazon as deposit, then the difference amount will be refunded to you. If by chance the duties end up being more than the deposit that you pay to Amazon, then Amazon will not charge you for it. It is on them. As always with Amazon, you are guaranteed excellent customer service. You can have all the questions regarding the order before placing the order or after placing the order and they will answer your questions. But they might not have all the answers. For that, you will need to get in touch with the seller directly. The only con of this is that the sellers might take up to 24 hours to respond to your message. Let's look at some of the cons of using Amazon Global Shipping. When you look for any watch on Amazon.com to be imported into your country, the sellers who are willing to ship these watches into your country are very limited because it is country specific. You won't find many sellers willing to sell watches to Indian customers. If you are looking for a particular watch on Amazon.com to be imported into your country, you have limited options. You will not find a lot of sellers who are willing to send their products to India. You will encounter this message in red when you look for uh, some of these watches that you're interested in. If you're in India, you can't use the app to use Amazon.com. So Amazon US is not accessible from the app in India. Even if you try to switch to US country in the settings, it will immediately open a browser. But for some reason, you are able to switch to every other country listed except US. So if you want to use Amazon Global Shipping, you have to use a browser. Not all items are under Global Shipping. Some private sellers ship it themselves through FedEx or DHL and they are using Amazon as just a marketplace. In this case, Amazon doesn't charge import duties. You just pay for the watch and shipping and the seller ships the watch to India, for example, and when 
the item arrives in the country, depending on the carrier, FedEx or DHL, will send you the invoice for payment of customs, duties and taxes incurred once they have cleared it. So they will pay on your behalf and they will bill it to you and you have to pay the customs duties and taxes before they can release it to be shipped locally to your destination address. In conclusion, if I find a watch I like and if it is not available with any of the Indian sellers, I'm talking about genuine sellers with good reputation of selling watches, then I always looked into Desert Cart and here is why. Let's consider the example of Casio F913DG on Chrono. This is how much it costs and that is excluding shipping. If you add the taxes and duties, this is how much it will come up to. But on Desert Card, this is how much it costs. And if you're a pro member, you don't pay anything more than what is mentioned here. On Amazon, you won't even find it listed to be sent to your country. All this information I provided is based on my first-hand experience of having used all these three options over the last few months. If you have any questions, you can reach out to me in the comment section or even in the community section. And don't forget, if you reside in India, drop that comment under this video if you want to stand a chance to win the Casio F105. This can be yours. Thank you for watching. Until next time, stay tuned and stay classy.